Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my bookish box, uh, November and December adult box. Finally, um, it is April now. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, um, I already opened this before, uh, just so I could organize it. Um, so I could have the November 1st and then December. So yeah, so. Here we have the November and December box here with the pamphlets and whatever. Um, so I'm gonna just make sure that I do show you guys the November items first and the November book first. So yeah, and then the month, the theme for November, um, it is Twist of Fate. So that is the theme for this month. Sorry that was out of focus, it wouldn't focus on it. So yeah let's go ahead and show you guys the first thing here which is our monthly candle here so this is what lies beyond the veil uh miss fell thing yeah so um with the box box they will do a candle in all of their boxes so you know you're getting a candle um so yeah so here is like a little decor logo piece image <laughs> um so let's see, it smells like it. It smells really good. It smells very fruity. Very, like, it smells like candy. So I do like it quite a bit. Um, hopefully it says what's on here. Okay, so if you want to know the scent to the candle, you can read that. Because I'm not good at pronouncing things. So that's the scent um, of that candle. I like it a lot. It smells very, very good. So yeah, so next, move on to the next thing. So the next thing we have is light it up which is a Crescent City Candle Carousel. Um, I do like these. These are very, very fun um, to have. They look really cool on top of my candles. So I think they're very, very cute. Um, I wanna insert a video so you guys can see what it looks like because you have to set it up and everything. Um, and that's as well. So yeah, so these little things are just gonna go above the candle and like in a little carousel. You will just see with the video. Um, I like them. They're very cute and very, very nice. So I do like that item. So then we move on to the next item, which is a tea nest, so which is a tea strainer. Um, inspired by Rhapsodic by Laura Tosley, whatever her name is. I read I did not like that book. <laughs> so yeah, I... This is like my fourth one that I received now. Um, but this one's actually pretty big and um, pretty nice. Um, so it says Bargainer, I would like to make a deal. So it's just a tea strainer. Um, like I said, I received so many of these over the past six months from all my subscription boxes and I just do not need more. So yeah, but there's that. Um, and then there's also some fuzzy socks here. So let's go ahead and open it so I can show you guys. And then these are inspired by the Plated Prisoner series cozy socks. So those are the socks. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. Um, and I did try these on already because usually socks don't fit me, but these actually do kind of, they do kind of fit me. Um, but there's just fuzzy socks with the little plated prisoner cage on the socks there so i do like these these are very cute um and nice so they feel good too so that's that that's everything in the november box so now we have the actual book here in this little green sleeve um yeah so let's go ahead and show you guys the book um so the month's book is house of beating wings by olivia wildstern so here is the cover. I do like it. It is a redesigned cover. Very, very pretty. And then we have the spine there. Also very, very nice. And then the back cover. Very, very pretty. And then here we have the sprayed edges on the top and bottom. It's very, very cool. And then also on the edges, they're the same. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but I like it. I think it's very, very cool. I like the colors of it. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but um, it's cool looking. Um, this one actually has a reversible dust jacket artwork, which I won't be using. It is very, very nice, and I also like that um, the bookish box actually adds foiling to them. So that's 
very very cool i do like it but i just prefer the other side uh, but it is very very nice uh, either way uh, so we have the naked hardback with some nice sparkle indorescent foiling on it which is very cool and the spine there and then on the back um so it says you little bird belong to the sky and that the sky it belongs to me so that's very nice and then we have these inner pages um this is beautiful i don't know what this book is about but that looks cool and i'm assuming that's probably what the stencil edges are probably this little creature um that looks very cool i like it um and then the back we actually have different um in pages which also looks really cool i like the artists uh, whoever designed them did a great job they look really, really pretty um and it is also signed by the author there so i like that and yeah that's pretty much it for oh there's also artwork of the two main characters that's really cool um just a glossary in here i think right yeah there's a glossary so that's interesting there's a map which isn't blurry this time <laughs> um so yeah and then each of the chapter headings have this little bird on it so that's really cool so that is the november adult uh bookish box i overall like the book the book is very pretty um the items wise i like the socks I like the carousel tea candle thing. Um, I like the candle. Um, I just don't care for the tea strainer because I have way too many at this point. But overall, I'm happy with it. So now let's move on to the December adult box in here. And the theme was um, legendary ladies. So that was the theme for the December box. So let's see the items and stuff. So the first thing here it is a dagger necklace, which is a murderous little creature necklace. They love to feature this quote by Jennifer O. Um, I do like the quote. Haven't read the books yet, but I do want to. Um, and I don't normally like the jewelry, but I think this is very, very pretty. I actually like this quite a bit. Um, I think it's very simple, very, very pretty, and I do like it quite a bit. Uh, I think it's really nice. So, and it has a quote on it. Um, you're, you're an absolutely stunning, murderous little creature. So, I do like the quote, and I do like this dagger necklace. Very, very cute, um, and very, very pretty. So, yeah. So, the next item here, um, which is actually very disappointing, um, and it kind of got me upset at first because this is not like the value here it's not it <laughs> so we have a very very cheap bookmark like it's not even a metal bookmark it's just cardboard bookmark so yeah um it's from actor age eve brown in the back it says the quote you're not just my sunshine you're the sun um, I hate it. I don't like the artwork on this. Very cartoonish. Um, and it's just a cardboard bookmark. So, yeah, that's very disappointing. But whatever. Um, so we have the candle now. So let's go ahead and look at it. So this one is actually inspired by Pride and Prejudice. Um, and then the location is Pemberley. So, yeah. If you didn't know the adult um, boxes... The candles are locations from different books and stuff, so yeah. So here we have the label on it. Very, very nice. I haven't read Pride and Prejudice, but maybe one day I will. So there's that, and let's go ahead and smell it. Um, it's not my fairy scent, but it doesn't smell bad, so I guess that's a plus. <laughs> and then again, if you want to know the scent of it, just read it from there. Because it's too much for me to say. Um, and then the last item before the book. We have a blanket. And this one is inspired by Court of Sever Flames by Sever J. Mask. So um, I do like receiving blankets. But I don't know. Uh, let's see. 
close look at it. I will be inserting another clip so you guys can get a better look at it. These blankets are thin. Um, they are very, like, very soft and stuff, so. Yeah, um, it's just a quilt blanket, which I am not a fan of. Um, I'm not, it's okay. It's a fine blanket. Um, it says, I am the rock against which surf crashes. <laughs> Nothing can bear me. So, that was hard to read. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Um, the blanket is fine. I'm just not a big fan of the design of it. But that's okay. Um, I have way too many blankets from Bookish Boxes as well. All the subscription boxes I have, they love sitting blankets, so. And then we also have this little, um, art print. Okay. And then we have the book for this month. This one wasn't in the green sleeve, it was just bubble wrap. So that's interesting. So let's go ahead and take it out. Okay. And it's also... And it's a little baggy, so. Okay. So, this is a very, very thick book. And it's also a naked hardback, which I'm not usually a fan of naked hardbacks. But I do think this is absolutely beautiful naked. So, I'm okay with it. So, this one's book is Between Wrath and Mercy by Jess Westcup. So, there is the naked hardback in beautiful purple foiling. I think it looks gorgeous. Then we have the spine there. And then the back. We have that, which looks nice as well. It says, my fire, my flame, my heart. So I do love that. And I also love these braid edges. So here's the top, the bottom, and then the normal edges. They're all the same. I love them. I think they're very, very pretty. And then we have the end papers here. Very, very nice. Very, very gorgeous. Um, and then they're the same on the back. So I feel like they could have done something different on the back, but that's okay. Um, it is signed by the author, so I love that. And then, I think that might be it. So this one has a pun, pun, pronunciation. Anyways, they have that, a little guide to pronounce things. <laughs> There's the map in here as well, which is cool. And then, um, all the chapter headers look like that. Hopefully it focuses on that can't tell but yeah so this is a very long book this is over 765 pages so it's a very very huge book um yeah it's just the corner of this one is a little damaged and also this one right here but it's not that bad i'll survive with it but yeah, that's everything that I received in the November and December bookish box. Let me know your thoughts on the books. I think they're very pretty. I do like them quite a bit. Um, and the items, there's a few hits and misses there. So let me know your thoughts on the items and stuff. Make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.